If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I am bringing to you a Dollar Tree hack for cleaning grout that you are not gonna wanna miss. If you are somebody who has grout in their house with their tile, this is a hack you, I cannot convey to you enough, are not gonna wanna miss. I have lived in my house for a little over 16 years now, and I've got 2,500 square feet of tile. I've got carpet in the bedrooms, but for the most part, everywhere else in my house is tile. And so over the last 16 years, I have been battling with trying to get my grout clean. There have been years where I have just been on a mission and I have tried everything to try and get my grout looking as clean or as new as possible again and it just never really seems to happen for me until this hack here that I stumbled upon by accident and boy oh boy I am so glad that I did it was 100% like I said an accident that it happened and when I saw it I was overjoyed and could not wait to do the rest of my house and this is a hack that I can't wait to share with you because for those of you who do have grout you know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to that battle of cleaning your grout and keeping it clean and so I can't wait to share this with you. I'm gonna quit my gabbin. Let's jump into it and let me show you this Dollar Tree hack for cleaning your grout. Did I say you're not gonna wanna miss this? Cause you're not. You're gonna love this. It works. Alrighty, so again, here are pictures of my grout before. It looks gray, it looks dingy, it just looks dirty. And I think of myself as a pretty clean person. I clean all the time, but looking at these pictures, I feel like that's up for debate right now. So when I decided to do this, I guess we'll call it a demonstration, I was thinking to myself, okay, Sel, I want all these viewers to know that these results are real, that they're true. So how can I do this? So I decided to film myself actually taking the picture. And when you look at my phone, you can see that on the screen it is the pictures that I used and then for whatever reason I thought putting a penny there was a good idea but you can see where I'm going with this these are true results I'm gonna show you just how I did this and you can see that I am on my hands and knees now with gloves and I am spraying this cleaner for those of you who shop at the Dollar Tree you know what cleaner this is this is the rust lime and calcium remover by awesome yes that is what I'm using, rust, lime, and calcium. Some of you may ask, is there an odor to this? There is a slight odor. If, if you are somebody who is sensitive to odors, you might wanna do this with your doors and your windows open. It really wasn't all that powerful to me. I clean the house all the time anyway with bleach and ammonia and all that fun stuff. And so I'm kinda used to the harsher chemical smells. And yes, I'm not gonna lie, I do use harsh chemicals. That may not be for some, but it's for me. So you wanna go to Dollar Tree and get this, the Rust Lime Calcium. And to clean the grout, what I'm gonna be using to scrub it are these scrubbing pads by Scrub Buddies. Now, this comes in a five pack. These are, I wanna say, uh, maybe a pretty rough scrubbing pad. Because they're so big, I decided to cut them into threes because I felt like it made it easier. You don't have to do that, but I felt like I got more out of my scrubbing pad. And I did go through two packs of these pads. This size is perfect. The two packs of these pads did my entire house, which was 10 pads times three, that was 30 pads because I cut them in half. After I let the rust, lime, and calcium set, I let it set there for about 10 minutes to really get into the grout and maybe cut through all the grime and the dirt. And as I'm doing it, you can see how the grime is coming up. I am not gonna fast forward this yet because I want you to see the results as they're happening. 
This isn't taking a lot of work. You can tell I'm just putting a couple seconds in, into each grout line. And as I'm doing it, you can see how clean it's getting. You can see the dirty water on the side. You can see it just pushing away, which was just absolutely amazing to me. It really was happening before my eyes. And there is something that is super satisfying about that. If you are somebody who likes to clean like I do and you like to see results, when you see the dirt and grime coming up the way it's coming up here, I was so stinking excited. It gave me the motivation and the determination to do the whole house, no joke. So as I'm scrubbing, probably knee pads are a good idea for this because I have such hard tile, most tile is hard. I found that my knees were sore, so maybe putting a towel or some kind of kind of patting down as you're doing this would probably be a good idea but i'm not one who's against getting on my hands and knees to clean especially when there's results like this and i will tell you that as i was doing this i have tile that is very uneven and you can see that it's kind of got little indentations in it from i guess the molding that they use to make the tile and so a lot of times if I use a wet mop with a cleaner, if I don't get all the water up as I'm mopping, it kind of settles in those grooves and then it leaves a dark dirt line because the dirt water isn't coming up. And so as I was doing this, I saw that if I just kind of ran over the tile with the scrubby pad it took up all of those lines too so this was kind of a twofer not only was my grout getting clean but my tile all of those black lines and like indentations were coming up from this cleaner which was amazing Just a quick tip, when doing this, you wanna do small sections at a time because you don't want the cleaner to dry and for your tile and grout to reabsorb the dirt. You wanna get that dirt up while it's wet, right after you scrubbed it. So I went ahead and got a rag, which is code word for bath towel or dish rag that I didn't throw away, an old one. And so that is something that I do with old dish rags and towels. I don't throw them away. I take really old rags that I've had for a while, throw them away, and now I have new rags, which are really old bath towels. Aren't you glad we had that talk? Once I get it all wiped up, I am gonna go in with my Swiffer Wet Jet, and in the green bottle, I have a Pine Salt and Water Blend. I love lemon Pine Salt. That's what I mop my floors with, and I'm using just, um, a mop pad from the Dollar Tree, one of those fabric mop pads that you can rewash. And so that is how I mop my floor. And I'm using this just to get up that, I guess, rust, lime, and calcium residue that's left over and just to get it good and clean. My grout is a bit wet right now, so it looks a bit darker, but when it dries, wait until you see the results of this. It is amazing. You saw the pictures in the thumbnail, but wait until you see it once the grout dries. It looks amazing. And since I'm doing this demonstration for you today, guess what? I'm gonna take you on the journey with me, the journey, right? My mission of cleaning my section for the day. And the section that I am cleaning in my house is the entryway by my front door. And it really just doesn't take much time at all. I, I'm gonna dedicate an hour to this today. And I really don't mind getting on my hands and knees to clean this because I now know the outcome is gonna be amazing. And I feel like as my kids get older, I try to teach them that there's pride in ownership. And that's a saying that I think that I pound into their head is pride in ownership with everything that you own or anything that you're paying for is if you just take pride in it and you keep it clean, you take care of it, you maintain it, then it's gonna last longer. It's gonna stay nicer longer. And so, um, you know, I've got this tile, it'll never be replaced because we have so much square footage of tile that I could not even imagine tearing this tile up to put wood flooring. I would absolutely love to have wood flooring in my house, 
but I have so much of this tile that I feel like it would be a nightmare to tear it up. And there was a point where I actually had an estimate done of how much it would cost to have this tile tore out and have wood flooring put in. And it actually cost more money for them to demo and take the tile out than to actually put the wood flooring in. And so I think that was when I made up my mind that this tile is great. It's not wood flooring, but it is a beautiful tile. And so it is what I will live with for the rest of my life while I live in this house because this is my forever home. And that is exactly why I take pride in ownership because this is my forever home. I want it to stay looking nice. This house is about 20 years old and I feel like if you were to walk into it based on my doors, my baseboards, my tile, you would never know. It looks like a house that's maybe only a couple years old because I really am a firm believer in taking care of what you own and putting some pride into it. And that there was your motivational lecture for the day. Ha! And there you have it, before and after. I will say that in this picture, the grout wasn't completely dry, but as the grout dries, you can see in the next couple pictures that it really lightens up, especially if you have a lighter grout and you can really see the difference in what it was before and what it is now. Today, Kayla's learning how to contour her face. How wrong can this really go? Contouring, it's easy. I think she can catch on to this, she paints. Go see how she did. You can find the link to today's video in the description box below. Can I just say, I could not be more happy with the way my grout looks right now and with an outcome like this, I didn't mind putting a little elbow grease into my grout and doing this. Was it something I did all in one day? Absolutely not. It was something that I did over time. I'm one of those people that when I'm spring cleaning or cleaning out cabinets, or doing something like this cleaning grout, I will dedicate a specific amount of time to it a day. And so with the grout, I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna do one area a day, whether it was my laundry room one day, a bathroom one day, a hallway one day, my kitchen one day, and that way it's not so tumultuous. It's not something that just wipes you out and you're dreading. And I feel like when I just do one area a day, like a bathroom or a hallway, it takes me about an hour and then I'm done for the day. I can move on with the rest of my day and I can be productive and do more throughout my day than just cleaning my grout. Some people may want to knock it all out in one day. I am definitely not one of those people, but over a week and a half's time, I was able to get my whole house done and I couldn't be happier with the outcome. I know some people are going to ask me if I'm going to seal my grout again, and I'm not. I'm not going to seal it because I just feel like there are spots in my grout, I'm not going to lie to you, where some of the spots didn't come up. Maybe spots that were from grease in the kitchen, and those are ones that I'm still working on, but for the most part, I would say 95% of my grout looks amazing again. It looks new. You may wanna seal it again. I'm not going to. I'm just gonna continue to clean it maybe once a year, once every couple years as needed. I'm just glad that I ran across this hack and that it was something that worked. I will tell you the quick story of how I ran across this hack for those of you who want to stick around and hear it. So I would say about two months ago I had a foundation leak, a slab leak in my master bathroom and our plumbing is in the slab in the foundation which is cement. And so they literally put the plumbing in and then poured cement over it. There is no crawl space in my under my house. I had some people when I talked about this saying that I had a really bad plumber. Why didn't they go in the crawl space? We don't have a crawl space. We have a cement that is in the dirt, the plumbing, the cement again, and then we've got our house built on top of that cement slab. And so there is no crawling under to fix the plumbing. When they needed to fix the plumbing, tile needed to come up, holes were put in my drywall because they had to replumb my house, and so replumbing it meant that they had to cut off 
like the plumbing that was coming out of the slab and they needed to replumb it up through the walls and in through the attic. Why they didn't just do that in the first place is beyond me, but I guess the plumbers are going to stay employed because they're gonna have to do this to all of the houses in our area that end up with a slab leak. When that slab leak happened, our floors got very wet, the tile did, in the master bathroom and we kinda had puddles and once it was fixed and everything was dried out, I started to notice over the next few weeks that there was calcium that was coming up through the grout. And when I mean calcium, we have hard water in my area. So calcification and hard water happens in our area. We don't have a water softener, although we could, we choose not to because I don't like it. And so because we have hard water, calcification happens. It happens on the sidewalk outside. It happens just about everywhere. You know, if you don't squeegee the glass in your shower, you get hard water stains. And so the calcification looks like salt. It comes up white and it looks like salt. And I started to see that throughout my grout. And I just thought like, oh wow, there was so much water. Now I've got the calcium coming up and it's sticking to the grout. How am I gonna get this up? I would wipe it off and then the next day I would see more of it coming up. And I just thought, how am I gonna get rid of this when I thought of using the rust, lime, and calcium cleaner from the Dollar Tree? And so I thought, you know what, maybe if I squirt that on it and just let it set for about 10 or 15 minutes, the grout will absorb it and it will kind of disintegrate or get rid of that calcium and it won't keep coming up through the grout. And so when I did that, I went ahead, I sprayed it on the grout in my bathroom, let it set for about 10 or 15 minutes, and then I did go over it with the scrub, the scrub pad, the green scrub pad, and it all came up. I wiped it up and I was like, okay, we'll see what happens in the next day or two. I want to say a few hours later I came back into my bathroom and when I looked down at the tile in the grout it was clean where I had just sprayed that rust and lime cleaner from the Dollar Tree by Awesome and the rest of my grout then looked dirty dirty black in comparison to the area that I had just tried to clean the calcium off of and I just thought oh my word I have never seen my grout look this clean in my life in this area I'm gonna do this to my whole bathroom and I'm gonna see what happens. And so I took the time, I did it to my whole bathroom and to my surprise, my grout looked cleaner than it had ever looked before. My grout didn't separate from the tile, it didn't crack, and so I couldn't have been happier with it. And from there, I just kind of moved on to the rest of my house and I'm bringing you this video. And so when I say it was a mistake that I came upon this hack, it really is. It is one that I'm comfortable using, I'm happy with it, and, um, yeah, I, I just wanted to share it with those of you who do have grout and know this battle. I hope that you all found this hack useful and if you try it, leave me a comment in the comments below and let me know how well it worked for you. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive. And bye for now, everybody.